Are bank valuations making you go bah humbug? Coming up this week on SCMP Property. You could always go to another bank. Perhaps you are paying a premium for that particular property that you're looking at. So you found the perfect flat that you think has a fair price. However, the bank valuation seems to be calculated by Ebenezer Scrooge himself. Unfortunately, there's no ghost of Christmas past, present, future, or anything else in between that can knock some sense into your lender. It's an unfortunate problem that happens in a hot market, and one that's prompted our viewer this week to ask, do you have any suggestions if the bank valuation of the flat I'm interested in buying is considerably lower than the asking price? According to our first expert, the problem may not be with the bank, but with the neighborhood. Um, yes, this does happen from time to time, particularly in Hong Kong. Uh, village houses in new territories tend to be much lower bank valuations, so it's, it's, it's a feature of the market. Um, you could always go to another bank uh, and um, talk to them about evaluation and talk to them and encourage them to even go and look at the property. Sometimes this improves the valuation. Um, there is a top-up um, mortgage available. Uh, it's through available through one of the banks in Hong Kong plus the Hong Kong Monetary Authority. Mix and match mortgages may be what it takes to make your dream home yours. But have you considered giving your wallet a rest? My advice would be for the uh, investor to initially um, trying to get a second opinion or a second valuation perhaps from another bank. And if both valuation actually ties in and concur more or less the same value at the end of the day, then perhaps you are paying a premium for that particular property that you're looking at. But with a market as jumping as Hong Kong's, it could just be that the banks aren't keeping up with the times. While the market is in an optimistic mood, it is not unusual for bank valuation to lag behind that of the asking prices of vendors. If you are indeed convinced that um, the deal that you are getting is a fair and good one, then you should still uh, work out to see whether you do have um, enough money to um, complete your purchase. So if your bank really isn't in the Christmas spirit, but that property is too good of a gift for yourself to give up, you might want to ask Santa for a little extra equity this year. But before you start raising some of your own funds, ask yourself for a moment, does the bank valuation indicate that the price of the property is more naughty than nice? That's all for this week. This has been Lauren Bass.